Younger Lagoon is a very dynamic um, system. So it is uh, most of the year disconnected from the ocean by a sandbar that sets up right in between. Um, and then seasonally, uh, usually after there's enough, enough winter rain that really fill the lagoon to the brim, uh, and a big enough storm that comes in and produces wave action big enough to start kind of breaking down the sandbar, the lagoon breaches. So this is basically where uh, water starts flowing out from this higher level in the lagoon down into the lower level in the ocean. It's a pretty violent event. It happens relatively quickly. It drains very fast considering how much water is in there. This is basically just a giant standing wave, a, r a new river that's formed. Um, and it goes from being very full to basically at the same level as whatever the tide is at in the ocean. And this process takes a matter of hours. So um, becomes kind of one with the ocean. And then there's some interesting things. The ocean actually starts bringing in water into the lagoon. So it goes from being extremely fresh with all the winter storms to being a lot more saline with the influx of, of water from the ocean. This also, there's species that move in and out. So our Tidewater goby and three spines stickleback, they might get flushed out into the ocean. They have some different kind of behaviors when it comes to breaching. And so some of these fish, actually these populations, might move between lagoons during breaching events.